As a developer, sometimes you need to make your application more interactive. This doesn't always involve adding extra features, it's more like extending existing ones. So you have an application where you're using the DevExpress chart control to visualize some data. This does the job, but perhaps it would be easier to read and identify its elements as well as the series points if they were displayed as the user hovered over them. In this video, you'll learn how to identify the chart element located under the mouse cursor and also display the series points data in a tooltip. So let's get started. Starting from a new WinForms application, I add a chart control onto the form. The chart wizard is invoked automatically. I switch over to the series page and remove the two automatically generated series. I'll be creating one later from code. I click finish to close the wizard. I select the empty chart control and set its doc property to fill. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to work with a small list of data. I right click on the form and switch to code view. In the form1.cs file, I add the following small class. Within the form's load event, I create a list object. Then, I manually populate it with some sample data and bind it to the chart control. Notice that I need to create a reference to the devexpress.extracharts namespace. I switch to design view. From the toolbox, I drag and drop a text edit control onto the form and dock it to the bottom. I'll be using this to display the element name located under the mouse cursor. To do this, I select the chart control and create a handler for its mouse move event. This event is triggered when the mouse cursor is moved over the control. Here, I create a new calc hit info object to calculate the hit information for the point which the mouse pointer is currently hovering over. Then I call the hit test property of the chart hit info object and set the text property of the text edit control to display the element name. And that's it. I've run the application to see the results. You can see that as I hover over each part of the chart control, the name of that element is displayed in the text box docked at the bottom of the application. But if you recall, I also wanted to display the value of each series point in a tooltip as the mouse is hovered over them. I close the application and return to Visual Studio. I switch to Design View. From the toolbox, I'll drag and drop a tooltip controller onto the form. This will be used to display the tooltip at runtime. Next, I select the grid and create a handler for its object hot tracked event. This event is raised before a chart's element is hot tracked. First, I'll create a series point object and initialize it to the event's additional object property. This property provides access to the object, which is in some way related to the object being hit. In this case, it's the series point object. Next, if the point is not null, I'll create a new instance of the country info class. If you recall, that's the class I created at the beginning of this video. I'll assign the population value of the current point to a new string. Then the tooltip is displayed using its showHint method and passing on the string as a parameter. Now if the cursor is not hovering over a series point, then the point is null. In this case, I'll create an else statement and hide the tooltip. And I'm done. I run the application again. This time, you can see that as I hover over each bar, the series value is displayed in a tooltip underneath the mouse cursor. For more information, please refer to the Extra Charts documentation. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.